Hi, my name is Joel Littman. I'm a forensic accountant, which might sound boring to you, but I promise you've never met an accountant quite like me before. You've probably never seen how lucrative forensic accounting can be. For starters, I've worked with some of the most powerful and secretive agencies on earth, like the FBI and the US Marine Corps War College. Just before I put this presentation together, I was back at the US Pentagon, my fifth trip there in the last year to brief top military brass on the state of the stock market and the economy. I'm often asked to address America's top business schools, including Harvard and Wharton. And I'm one of the most driven guys you'll ever meet. My global business now has 150 employees on three continents, and even at age 51, I'm still deadlifting nearly 500 pounds. Today, my secret forensic approach to the markets helps me uncover where the biggest piles of money are headed before the information is known to the general public. That's why all 10 of the biggest money managers in the world have read my work. So have more than half of the 300 world's biggest investment firms. Some clients have paid as much as $100,000 per month. We run weekly forensic data reports on more than 25,000 publicly traded companies. No one on or off Wall Street comes even close to this figure. Just to show you one of our most recent examples, tracking these hidden money movements is how we booked up to a 1,300% gain on Facebook and exited before the stock fell more than 40%. But I'm not here to talk about the past. I've put together this short analysis today because we've recently uncovered where the next big wave of money is headed. And my team and I have started a new initiative that gives regular folks the same advantages we've been giving our billion dollar clients. In short, I'm sure you've noticed in recent months how digital technology company stocks have crashed from their lofty highs. In addition to Facebook, companies like DocuSign, Twitter, Shopify, and many more have fallen 40 plus percent. And I want to tell you where I believe the smart money is going next. It's headed to a subsector of the markets very few people are paying attention to right now. In fact, I bet you've never even heard of it. I'm talking about a group of companies that are behind a totally new type of technology breakthrough, which was the subject of Apple founder Steve Jobs' final prophecy in 2011, just before his death. Jobs' ability to see the most lucrative technologies of the future was unmatched, in my opinion. He accurately predicted the internet, laptop computers, Siri and Alexa voice assistants, e-commerce, and cloud computing, just to name a few, long before these things were a blip on the radar. As Walter Isaacson, Jobs' biographer, says, was he smart? No, he was a genius. His imaginative leaps were instinctive, unexpected, and at times magical. Like a pathfinder, he could absorb information, sniff the winds, and sense what lay ahead. And that's exactly what I want to tell you about today, what's coming next. Because I believe taking advantage of Steve Jobs' final prophecy right now will result in by far the biggest investment gains in the world over the next decade. So please, for the next few minutes, forget the technologies dominating today's headlines. Forget cryptocurrencies, 5G, electric vehicles, and self-driving cars. Forget the blockchain, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and virtual reality. Forget NFTs, apps, space exploration, and cloud computing. You see, these are all digital technology firms, and although most investors don't realize it, many are yesterday's news. And I'm 100% convinced the digital revolution as we have known it is about to get steamrolled by something even bigger, which is just now hitting an inflection point. Today, you can be among the earliest to get in. Just be warned, you're going to be skeptical, despite all the facts and figures I present. It's unlikely you've ever heard of what I'm going to reveal today, but mark my words, you soon will. In fact, Larry Fink, who heads up the world's biggest money management firm, BlackRock, says this space is where the next 1,000 unicorns will come from. He's talking about startup companies that grow to be worth a billion dollars. This is why MIT has launched an entire department focused solely on this breakthrough. It's why Stanford, Cal Berkeley, Princeton, and many more are doing something similar. It's why military labs, like the US Army's research laboratory, have gotten involved in a big way as have the richest firms, including Microsoft, Intel, Rio Tinto, Royal Dutch Shell, Procter & Gamble, Novartis, and Dow Chemical. In short, while the digital age companies have fallen from their lofty highs, a new technological era is now coming into focus. And in the coming minutes, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know. Even better, I'll show you my number one favorite stock in this space, 
and I'll give you the name and ticker symbol. You can buy it today and probably hold it for the next decade. And don't worry, there's no credit card, email address, or subscription required. Okay, let's get started. I want you to see how this new era is going to truly change our world in many of the ways Steve Jobs foresaw 11 years ago. I'm talking about everything from what you buy at the grocery store to how you shop, from the construction business to the healthcare industry, from the energy industry to computer hardware and everything in between. Steve Jobs' great skill was looking at how multiple innovations would come together to transform society. For example, look at his prediction about e-commerce way back in 1995 when only 14% of adults had internet access. Jobs said, people are going to stop going to a lot of stores and they're gonna buy stuff over the web. Large companies not paying attention will get hurt. Steve Jobs is also the guy who predicted the laptop computer, cloud computing, and even the exact average age, 10, when kids would get their first device. He also predicted how the combination of software, internet access, and voice recognition will lead to voice-activated assistants like Amazon's Alexa and Apple's Siri. But I think Steve Jobs' final prophecy, issued before his 2011 death, will ultimately go down as his most important. And the good news for you is that it's just starting to become reality right now. To be more specific, Although if you realized it, Steve Jobs' final prediction came to life on January 10th, 2020. Here's what happened. At 10.53 p.m. on a Friday evening, a scientist named Barney Graham received an urgent email at his Rockville, Maryland home. Graham, as you'll see, is a true American hero. He was class valedictorian and a high school sports star who spent countless hours working his family's 800-acre Kansas farm before going to medical school. Even with all his success, however, Graham remains a humble man who still holds hands with his wife and says grace before meals. But back on January 10th, 2020, Barney Graham was growing impatient. He'd been expecting the email for days, but it never arrived. Graham was waiting for a critical external code for his computer software program. He tried several back channels to secure it, but with no luck. Then out of nowhere, vital information appeared on his computer screen thanks to a late night email from a colleague. To the untrained eye, it looked like gobbledygook. Just a string of seemingly random jumbled letters, T, G, C, T, A, etc. Even for most scientists and computer programmers, it was indecipherable. So was the conclusion. Initial analysis shows Z, C, 45. But not only did Barney Graham know exactly what all these letters meant, he also knew exactly what to do with them. In fact, he'd been training and experimenting for more than two decades, preparing for this very moment. The next morning, Graham got up early, grabbed a cup of coffee, and headed to his home office. There he fired up his laptop. Then he reached out to some associates by text and email one at the University of Texas, just back from a ski trip, another who'd been a rising star at Graham's lab since she was a teenager. Graham's team plugged the newly emailed data into their software programs. They moved fast, but carefully. After all, billions of dollars and possibly millions of lives were on the line. And then that very day, within just a few hours, this small group led by Barney Graham created something that would change the world more than anything else in recent history. Their work would also make some people extremely wealthy. In fact, Graham's team helped create at least three new billionaires and helped drive several stocks up more than 600% in a very short period of time. By now, you might have figured out what I'm talking about. The email Barney Graham received on Friday, January 10th was about COVID-19. But what made it unique and so important? After all, there were thousands of emails flying back and forth in the scientific community at the time. Well. The email Graham received contained the genomic sequence of the virus. And because Graham and his team had been studying this type of virus and how to defeat it with a new type of technology for more than a decade, they were able to use powerful software to pinpoint the now famous spike protein. What's incredible here is this. After gaining access to the genomic sequence, Graham and his team were able to design a new vaccine in just a few hours on their laptops. As science writer David Heath reports, 
Graham could analyze the code on his laptop using a variety of software and design a vaccine digitally. The New York Times reported, they never had the virus on site at all. They really just used the sequence and they viewed it as a software problem. Think about that. The vaccine that would eventually save millions of lives was designed on a laptop in a home office in just a few hours. Barney Graham and his team didn't need a sample of the live virus, which they couldn't get anyway, because the only cases at the time were in China, where reportedly only 41 people had been infected. But just 66 days from the time Graham received his email, a company he was working with, Moderna, was able to deliver the first test shot to a volunteer in Seattle. In a few years, I believe we'll look back on this occasion the way we look back at landing on the moon, or the first telegram being sent around the world back in 1911 as one of the most important technological breakthroughs of our time. That's because this was the tipping point for the most important technology of the next decade called SynBio. Now look, I get it. Vaccines are one of the most controversial subjects on earth right now. And I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm not here to tell you whether everyone should be vaccinated or not. But I'm here to show you how the incredible speed, effectiveness, and widespread use of these vaccines was a tipping point in the world of SynBio. What very few people realize is that we are now about to enter the biggest wave of new wealth in the world, and new vaccines are only a tiny part of what's going on. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is that throughout history, people are always afraid of the biggest technological breakthroughs. That's one of the reasons you know this is going to be such a big deal. Did you know, for example, that people were terrified of electricity in the early 20th century? Even the most well-respected expert at the time, Thomas Edison, issued his own warnings about the top technology of the day. The New York Tribune wrote, Mr. Edison has declared that any metallic object, a doorknob, a railing, a gas fixture, might at any moment become the medium of death. To say that electricity changed the world might be the understatement of the century, but people were terrified of it just as they have been for so many of the technologies that have transformed our lives, including trains. People thought going more than 30 miles an hour would wreak havoc on the human body. X-rays, incubators for newborns, organ transplants, even cell phones. People thought they caused cancer and Wi-Fi. Many newspapers ran stories about the potential danger, just to name a few. Please don't let fear stand in the way of the biggest potential financial profits of your lifetime which are before us now. Because honestly, it doesn't matter if you believe in these new vaccines or not. They're only a tiny part of the opportunity I want to tell you about today. What I really want you to see is that we have now hit the inflection point for a new type of technology which Steve Jobs accurately predicted would change the world. 11 years ago, in his biography, Jobs said, the biggest innovations of the 21st century will be the intersection of biology and technology. A new era is beginning, just like the digital one was when I was my son's age. At the time, few knew what Jobs meant. His prediction received almost no attention. But now we know that he was essentially talking about how a suite of technologies would allow us to engineer organisms' genomes directly and create an entirely new field of science called SynBio. SynBio is basically the combination of computer science with genomic analysis and gene editing and is now being used to create new materials, new medicines, new food, new fuels, new tests, new products, and so much more. In short, because computers are now a million times faster than they were just a few years ago, and because the price of sequencing DNA, the building blocks of life, is now one ten millionth of what it cost 20 years ago, an entirely new field, SynBio, has emerged which allows us to create, manufacture, and improve so many things in our world, starting at the cellular level. Okay, but what does this all look like in the real world, besides new vaccines? And how is this going to transform practically every industry over the next decade, making early investors wealthy along the way? Let me show you one example. SynBio will help us create thousands of new products and solve so many of the problems we're now facing. For example, do you know what the most important material in the world is for fabrics and clothes? The answer is boring old cotton, which accounts for half of all our textiles, the materials we use to make all our clothes, bedding, furniture, coverings, etc. 
There hasn't been a big innovation in the cotton industry since the cotton gin nearly 230 years ago. Typically, cotton takes 180 days to grow and 10 tons of water for a single pair of blue jeans. Yes, 10 tons of water for each pair of jeans. But thanks to Synbio, a Massachusetts company is growing cotton 10 times faster in a lab while using 80% less water and land. The founder of the company describes the process this way. The stem cells have the ability to transform into any part of the plant. Instead of growing the whole plant, we go from the cell directly to the fiber. And instead of taking six months, the whole process takes just 18 days and requires none of the insecticides or pesticides. The company just won an award from LVMH, which owns brands like Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior. And it's not just old school materials like cotton that Syn Biotechnology is disrupting. Cannabis plant compounds like CBD and CBG are some of the hottest new ingredients in the world for pain, inflammation, anxiety, sleep issues, nausea, etc. The problem is CBG is very expensive to grow. It costs approximately $6,300 per kilogram. But a Synbio company called Amaris is estimated to be able to now produce the same amount of CBG in the lab for about $500, a 92% savings. Now, are you starting to see this will be a disruption of entire industries? And the same thing that's happening to cotton and cannabis compounds is now taking place with leather, rubber, plastics, cement, and so much more. By the end of this year, a company called Bolt Threads will produce a million square feet of lab-grown leather per year. They already have partnerships with big names like Adidas and Lululemon. Stanford economist Tony Siba predicts the market for leather from cows will collapse by 90% by the year 2030. Michelin Tires has partnered with a California company called Amaris to produce tires and rubber-based sport goods in the lab. This is the future of agriculture and materials, computer software, and sell your solutions in the lab. This is why McKinsey, the world's leading consulting agency, concluded in a recent 200-page report that biology is the most important technology of this century. The firm says, as much as 60% of the physical inputs of the global economy could be produced biologically. Okay, but what does this mean for you and me? How will Synbio disrupt dozens of industries and make investors wealthy? Take a look. One of the first commercially available Synbio products ever created was insulin, a hormone used to treat diabetes, which is the fastest growing chronic disease in America. Insulin is a hormone produced by our pancreas. It regulates blood sugar levels. Without it, diabetics suffer greatly and die young. For many years, insulin came from, and get this, the pancreases of cows and pigs. More than 50,000 animals were needed to produce just four and a half cups. Think about that. Think of the time, money, animal feed, water, and land needed to breed, maintain, and care for the tens of millions of animals needed to supply insulin for humans. The numbers and waste were enormous, not to mention terrible for the environment. There was also widespread anxiety about the supply because forecasts showed we'd eventually need 56 million animals per year to meet growing demand. Then along came a Synbio solution in the lab. A company called Genentech produced the first genetically modified yeast capable of producing human insulin called Humulin. It was approved by the FDA and adoption was rapid because Humulin was more consistent, better tolerated, and manage sugar levels more effectively. The animal-based insulin industry collapsed, soon making up less than 1% of the market. In other words, insulin from animals fell from a roughly 100% market share to less than 1% market share. In part, that's because the way produced this insulin was barbaric, chopping up pork and beef pancreases by the millions. Instead, today in the lab, we simply combine a common bacterium and yeast cells with the gene for human insulin production, and presto, we're able to create unlimited numbers of tiny insulin factories which make insulin cheap, reliable, and plentiful. Again, this is what the future will look like for millions of products and materials. And for investors, the potential rewards are massive. 
Folks who own Synbio insulin maker Genentech, for example, saw the stock shoot up more than 600%. And the crazy part is, that's all just a tiny fraction of the Synbio story. In fact, it's really just the beginning. You see, the truly remarkable thing about Synbio is that it also enables us to create brand new products with incredible new properties for amazing new uses. For example, A Massachusetts group has developed a new type of Synbio concrete that fixes itself when it cracks. Whenever a tiny crack forms, a special Synbio enzyme that's been added to the concrete creates calcium carbonate crystals to heal the crack. A millimeter scale crack fills itself within a day. Synbio is opening up solutions in so many industries. Exxon is making a huge bet on Synbio products. They've partnered with US company Viridos to produce algae-based biofuels. Exxon says they'll soon be able to produce 10,000 barrels per day. Here's another wild example. Researchers at MIT have found a way to grow wood in the lab. Scientists start with cells, not seeds, and growing wood in a lab this way takes just a few months, not 20 years that it takes to grow a tree. Then there's a publicly traded company called Danimer, which has 390 issued and pending patents and is a leading expert on creating new types of bioplastics that disintegrate into nature after use. The company has partnered with Walmart, PepsiCo, Bacardi, and Nestle, just to name a few. They're producing this brand new type of plastic right here in America. In one recent five month stretch, the company's share price shot up more than 550%. A company called Zimmergen uses Synbio to create new materials for thinner foldable electronics. They've partnered with Mitsubishi Chemical. Synbio will create incredible new testing abilities as well. Here's one example. Did you know today there's no recommended early screening for more than 70% of the cancers that end up killing people? But a US-based company has developed a simple Synbio blood test to pre-screen for 50 different cancers before they are symptomatic. Your doctor has probably never told you this, but this test is available right now. Eventually, I bet this test and others like it will be as common as taking your blood pressure. By the way, I'm going to give you the name of this incredible company behind this test. It's my number one favorite investment in the Synbio space today. And this cancer test is only a very tiny part of what they do. The main thing I want you to keep in mind right now is that Synbio is going to truly transform our world in so many ways, many of which we can't even imagine right now. As Tom Knight, one of the earliest founders of the internet, and a former senior research scientist at MIT's legendary computer science and artificial intelligence laboratory has said, this is the technology of this century. This is going to change how we build things. Biology is fundamentally a manufacturing technology. It's going to be massive. Here's one more extraordinary example of exactly what I mean. Right now, nearly every big software company, such as Microsoft and Intel, is working to perfect the use of biological DNA for data storage. Yes, you heard that correctly. Syn bioscientists and engineers have figured out how to store our photos, videos, movies, etc., on computers in synthetic DNA instead of traditional hard drives. Why? Because DNA is remarkably stable and dense. It's estimated one kilogram of DNA could store all the data in the world. Plus DNA lasts for thousands of years. Think about it. We've been able to find readable DNA extracted from a horse that died 700,000 years ago. Remember, as the founders of one of the world's best Synbio companies likes to say, biology has had a four billion year technological head start on us as humans. And now Synbio gives us the ability to harness the power so many things nature has perfected with the help of powerful software, computing power, and gene editing capabilities. I know, in many ways, this all sounds like science fiction, but the truth is, it's all happening right now, although it gets almost zero coverage from the mainstream press. But that's about to change, because the pace of Synbio development is going to be faster than anything we've ever seen before. Synbio will change the healthcare system and our agricultural system. It will change the way we build roads, bridges, skyscrapers and houses. It will change the way we manufacture clothes. It will change the energy industry. It will change the way we eat. In short, it will completely upend our economy as we know it today. 
and it's going to create the next big wave of billionaires. As one researcher says, this is akin to the semiconductor in the 1970s, a fundamental technology with the potential to disrupt a wide range of sectors, including food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, materials, and more. And the money flooding into this space is incredible. In 2021, SynBio funding shot up more than 100% compared to the previous year. The venture money that went into SynBio companies last year was more than the previous 10 years combined. Also, it probably won't surprise you that the guys who became billionaires in the previous big wave of money, the digital computing era, are now pouring money into SynBio companies. I'm talking about Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Mark Andreessen, Netscape and Twitter, Brian Johnson, Venmo, Vinod Kosla, Sun Microsystems, Eric Schmidt, Google, Peter Thiel, Facebook, Jerry Yang, Yahoo, Max Levchin, PayPal, and Elon Musk, Tesla, just to name a few. As venture capitalist Siraj Kalik says, I think in 10 years, we will probably look back and will recognize this as the most important technological revolution of our time. This is where the biggest breakthroughs of the next five years will come from. This is where the big money is headed right now. And that's why I want you to have the chance to take an early stake starting as soon as today. Is it too early? Let me show you something so you can decide. If you're going to invest in game-changing new technologies, AMRA's law is an important concept. Named after Stanford computer scientist Roy AMRA, the law states simply that, we overestimate the impact of a new technology in the short run, but underestimate it in the long run. In other words, with any radical new breakthrough, we, meaning the press, investors, and also the tech community, get too excited too quickly about the possibilities. But then, a few years go by, and nothing much seems to happen. Critics say, whatever happened to that technology that was supposed to change our lives? And then, just as this phase of doubt creeps in, the technology hits an inflection point and truly disrupts society, making some people wealthy along the way. To see Amra's law at work, you don't have to look far back. Take the internet in the late 1990s. The hype to get online caused the percentage of Americans with home computers to more than double. Internet hype was everywhere. And Bill Gates told Time Magazine in 1996, the internet will continue to grow in popularity until it is as mainstream as the telephone is today. Gates was right, but early. You probably remember the euphoria in internet-related stocks. The Nasdaq index soared more than 250% in less than 18 months. What was happening here was the first part of AMRA's law. We overestimated the impact of a new technology in the short run. The internet's full potential was still a ways off. Eventually, critics piled on. In fact, in 1998, Nobel Prize-winning economist Paul Krugman wrote, by 2005 or so, it will become clear the Internet's impact on the economy has been no greater than the fax machines. Ten years from now, the phrase information economy will sound silly. Now, at first, Krugman looked to be right. The entire Nasdaq fell roughly 80%. But remember the second part of AMRA's law. We underestimate the impact of breakthrough technologies in the long run. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how the internet completely changed so much of our world. And if you've bought the best internet companies, such as Amazon, Salesforce, and eBay, on the exact day Paul Krugman compared the internet to the fax machine, you'd be sitting on gains of 37,000%, 5,700%, and 7,300%. And that's the thing about AMRA's law. It traps over-eager investors at the beginning of a new breakthrough because the reality does not live up to the initial hype. Then years later, it causes others to dismiss the breakthrough altogether and potentially miss the biggest gains. Every technological breakthrough I've seen follows this path, although the cycle is much faster today. The first truly modern automobile, for example, was developed in the 1890s. But after the initial hype subsided, skeptics pronounced it a failure. One industry reporter wrote, the notion that vehicles of any kind will be able to compete with railroad trains for long distance traffic is visionary to the point of lunacy. But soon the auto made Henry Ford one of the richest men of the 20th century and early investors made more than 300,000% gains in just 16 years. The same thing happened with computers. Invented near the end of World War II, the lack of useful purposes made computers a bit of a joke for years. Ken Olson, CEO of one of the world's most successful computer companies said, there is no reason 
anyone would want a computer in their home. Of course, if you got in early on the best computer firms of the day, like Apple and Nvidia, you could have seen long-term gains of more than 60,000% on both of these businesses. You get the point. And today, Amra's lost cycle is set to repeat itself again right now with Synbio. The big wave of initial hype occurred 22 years ago when Bill Clinton held a press conference celebrating the first rough map of the human genome. This was a huge deal. It was a front page story in the New York Times. But following Amra's law, people initially overestimated the impact of genomic technology in the short run. As Matt Ridley, one of the world's top technology writers described, sure enough, 10 years later, it delivered relatively little. There were plenty of critics saying it was all hype. But now, this truly world-changing technology has hit an inflection point and a new era of Synbio is emerging. It's happening right now because computers are literally 1 million times faster and have 100 billion times more storage capacity than they had less than a decade ago. And because the time and money required to sequence the genetic makeup, the genome, of a human or any other living thing has plummeted too. Today, sequencing a genome takes one one hundred thousandth of the time it took in the year 2000. And the cost has dropped to one ten millionth of what it was 20 years ago. When the first rough map of the human genome was produced back in 2000, it took 20 years and cost roughly $3 billion. Today, it costs as little as $100, according to an article in MIT Technology Review. Guess what? In all of human history, there is probably not another technology where the cost has gone down so dramatically, so fast. This is why Synbio funding is going up about 100% each year. It's why the billionaires who got rich during the digital age are now pouring money into Synbio companies. The good news is you can be an early investor now too and get in at ridiculously low prices before the rest of the world catches on. Sure, you can wait a few years and still have the chance to make good money as this becomes the dominant tech trade of the next decade. But think about it this way. You could have made 230% owning Google over the past five years, but you could have made 5,000% if you'd bought the company in its early days. Yes, you could have made 280% if you'd bought Amazon five years ago, but you could have made about 6,700% if you'd purchased shares after it was clearly established to be one of the most important e-commerce companies. Yes, you could have made about 360% owning NVIDIA, one of the world's best computer chip makers, over the past four years. But you would have made more than 4,900% if you purchased it just a few years earlier. That's a lot of numbers, I know. And if you want to see the sources of these figures and all the data presented here, see our details and disclosures page linked to at the bottom of this page. Also, I want you to keep in mind that these results I just described are some of the best examples of the digital era's tech breakthroughs. And as with all investing, there are no guarantees for how other companies will perform. But I think you get the point. Rarely do you ever have the chance to get in on the next big thing before it becomes a household name, but you do right now. Also, I haven't even mentioned how Synbio is going to provide the solutions for so many of the big problems we are facing right now. An article in Chemical and Engineering News, for example, describes how scientists are using Synbio to pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. A piece in Science Daily describes how Synbio is going to be used to potentially save the coral reefs in oceans around the globe. Forbes detailed the Synbio development in the works that ramps up a naturally occurring ocean bacteria that literally eats plastic bottles. Synbio is already being used to save the American chestnut tree from extinction, and it has literally saved papayas from devastation in Hawaii. This is why Synbio is sometimes referred to as the perfect solution, because it will ultimately solve the biggest problems we're facing today. Billions and billions are going to pour into these solutions, and eventually, the environmental extremists will have to find a new boogeyman to focus on, because Synbio solutions will allow us to clean up the earth and create the food, energy, and fuels we need. In fact, I bet in 20 years, we'll look back on the environmental extremists of today the same way we now look back on the overpopulation extremists of the 1970s who appeared all over television and the media proclaiming the world was about to end because of overpopulation. Sin Bio Solutions will make resources cleaner, cheaper, and more readily available in the years to come. This is why Larry Fink, the head of Blackstone, the largest money manager in the world, says the next 1,000 small companies that ultimately become worth a billion dollars will come from this space. 
Fink says the next big stock market winners won't be a search engine, won't be a media company. There'll be businesses developing green hydrogen, green agriculture, green steel, and green cement. Fink describes exactly how it will happen by Synbio. A revolution in the production of everything we produce and a revolution in everything we consume. The process of creating fuel, food, and construction materials with all the needs that we have as humanity, it all has to be reinvented and it's going to require a large amount of investment. Look, people are going to likely get really, really rich here over the next few years. I just hope you'll look at this with an open mind so you can potentially be one of them. Again, I've been tracking the hidden money flows here like no one else in the entire financial industry. This is where the money is going right now and you can be there first. All right, but let's go to the most critical part. How should you position yourself today? Well, I strongly recommend you start with buying shares of my favorite business in the Synbio sector right now. The entire Synbio process starts with gene sequencing. That is, the ability to unravel the DNA, not just of humans, but also potentially every living thing on the planet. And one company offers by far the most powerful DNA sequencing around. This firm controls roughly 90% of the market for gene sequencing machines in the US and they are still growing like crazy. When the final numbers came in for 2021, the company reported its best year ever. Revenue grew 25% in the fourth quarter and the firm added 50% more customers than in 2020. In short, this company called Illumina dominates the gene sequencing market. And while not completely unknown, I bet 99% of the American public has still never heard of it. The stock symbol is I-L-M-N. Today, Illumina has 17,000 DNA sequencing machines installed with 8,000 different customers. These machines cost as much as a million bucks a piece. Nearly all the big drug companies use Illumina's machines, like Merck, Bayer, and Bristol-Myers. And so do nearly all the best small sin bio companies too. Illumina's revenue continues to soar, and I believe it will get even more ridiculous in the years to come. Illumina even has a venture capital component. For example, you remember the blood test I was telling you about earlier, which helps identify 50 types of cancer before symptoms appear? Illumina owns that too. And the firm CEO says this type of cancer detection is by far the largest clinical application of genomics we're likely to see over the next decade or two. The company predicts this blood test will help avert one in three cancer deaths within a five-year time frame. That's why it's been prescribed by more than 1,500 health providers. In short, Illumina is a company you want to buy today and hold for the long term. My recommendation is buy Illumina, ticker symbol ILMN, my number one recommendation in the Synbio space, up to $510 per share. One of the primary forensic tools we use in my research group is a different type of financial data analysis called uniform accounting. This helps us get a much more accurate picture of what a company's earnings and profits will truly look like in the years ahead. No one in the world has the ability to evaluate as many companies this way as we do. It's why all of the world's 10 biggest money managers and over half of the top 300 money managers have used our research. And based on our uniform accounting analysis, Illumina should be worth roughly 20% more a year from now, 40% more in two years, about 130% more in five years compared to today's price, but those are conservative estimates. In the next 18 months or so, I think we'll see an investment frenzy in the Syn biospace. And if I'm right, the numbers will get ridiculous. In fact, we could see something similar to the frenzy that erupted in the electric vehicle EV space recently. One source shows how, during a roughly six month stretch, a collection of 20 best performing EV companies soared an average of 570%, with some soaring 1000% and more. The numbers are crazy. My point is, the time to position yourself in Synbio is right now, before this frenzy begins. And step number one is to buy Illumina. Now that brings me to step number two. The thing about Illumina is it's already a big company, it's hardly a secret. I think you'll do very well with the stock in the long run, and that's why it's my top Synbio recommendation. But I strongly believe there are other ways to potentially make significantly more money in the Synbio space over the next few years. And that's why I strongly recommend you also take step number two, buy the next wave of big Synbio winners. You see, 
in the next 12 to 18 months, I believe we're going to see some of the most exciting drug breakthroughs we've had in 50 years. The mRNA vaccines produced by Pfizer and Moderna and Symbio drugs have set off a flurry of activity in this space. Right now, in the best labs around the world, the exact same mRNA technology used to create the most effective COVID-19 vaccines is being used to test and create new types of treatments of all kinds. All told, there are now 520 mRNA-based clinical trials testing across more than 20 disease categories, and the best of these prospects could produce huge stock market winners. mRNA technology has been in the works for years, but now the technology has been optimized and proven in the real world. A huge number of new synthetic biotreatments are about to hit the markets. For example, right now, there are mRNA treatments being tested for all kinds of cancers, melanoma, lung cancer, lymphoma, breast cancer, colon cancer, and more with remarkable results. These drugs don't prevent cancer. Instead, they enable your body to recognize cancer cells so your immune system can attack it. Some of the results have been just incredible. It's going to be a huge, huge deal. And before that, the next big mRNA vaccine is likely to be for the flu. It's in the pipeline right now. And HIV too. I believe just like the COVID vaccines, the profits on these companies are going to be huge. There's also a small biotech company firm working with the Walter Reed Institute on an mRNA vaccine for malaria. It could help protect against 200 million cases each year. Other companies have mRNA breakthroughs in clinical stages to fight multiple sclerosis, MS, shingles, and more. The profit potential here is incredible. Remember, folks who invested in Moderna after the company said it was making a COVID mRNA vaccine saw profits of 2,100% over the next 18 months. The good news is, in the entire Synbio space, there are just two companies that are head and shoulders above the rest for profiting on this trend right now. One of these companies is a leader in this space and pocketed more than a 500% returns by cashing in on one of the COVID vaccine winners. In my brand new report, Profiting from the Next Big Synbio Wave, I'll show you exactly which two stocks to look at right now and what to buy and what price to pay for huge potential gains in the coming months. What I recommend you do with these companies typically is take a position, then sell half after you've pocketed 100% gains. This allows you to pocket your initial investment and let the remaining 50% ride. I recommended my subscribers do this recently in another service, for example, with a Synbio equipment company. After five months, the stock soared 116%, so we recommended selling half and we're letting the rest ride today. It's a great way to limit your risks and still have huge potential upside. Everything you need to know now is in my new report called Profiting from the Next Big Synbio Wave. Of course, as I've been saying, Synbio drugs and tests are just the tip of the iceberg here. There are a few other investments in this space I strongly recommend you make right away. One of the best ways to profit from any new technology is to own the platforms. Platforms are businesses that create systems or marketplaces, allowing other businesses to sell their products. Google is one of the most famous platforms. It makes money connecting millions of businesses around the world with customers, and the company has returned more than 5,000% gains over the long run. eBay is another great platform business. It's up more than 7,400% over the long term. First, mover advantage here is huge. And that's why I want to show you how to invest today in two Synbio platform companies I believe will dominate this space and potentially make early investors many, many times their money in the years to come. The first of these companies is the dominant player in the space. They provide the platform and equipment for hundreds of companies. And just like Google bought up YouTube, this company is actively buying up other companies that offer key technologies for cell sorting, drug manufacturing, and protein production. I recommend you buy this business immediately and hold for the long term. I think it's going to be a huge winner and most people have never heard of it. There's a second platform company I'm going to tell you about too. And I think it would be the biggest winner in this space in the years to come. In short, I believe that over the long run, folks who get in today's ultra low price could make 100 times their money or more in the long run on this soon to be dominant Synbio platform. The company has been around for more than a decade but just went public in the past year. Few investors know about it today, and it trades for less than $10 a share. Lab operations on this company's platform have been scaling at roughly 200% per year. Meanwhile, 
their cost to program sales have been decreasing about 50% per year. And this is why the company's customers include many of the biggest names in the world of pharma and biotech, like Bayer and Roche, agriculture, like Cargo, and healthcare, like Quest Diagnostics. Just don't wait too long. Word is starting to get out. The company was already mentioned on 60 Minutes because the firm's technology was instrumental in the COVID vaccine success. By the way, Bill Gates is one of the biggest and earliest investors, and so is billionaire Andreas Halverson. This tiny company is his fund's number one holding. He owns about five times as much of this company as he does of digital era businesses like Amazon and Facebook the last time I checked. Everything you need to know is in my new special report called Buy the Platforms, Your Best Shot at a 1,000% Winner. So how much does my research cost and how do you get instant access to these special reports which outline the best ways to position yourself in the SynBio space right now? It's simple. As I mentioned, I'm a forensic accountant. Yes, I'm a certified public accountant, a CPA, but there's much more to forensic accounting than what goes into getting a CPA. You see, forensic means capable of holding up in court. A forensic accountant can't just accept numbers on their surface. You have to prove discrepancies beyond any shadow of a doubt. That's why I've been asked to present at the Pentagon five times in the past year to high-level military brass. They want the real scoop on the health of companies at home and abroad. But what does forensic accounting have to do with the stock market? I've identified over 130 flaws and discrepancies in the general accepted accounting standards called gap accounting, used to keep the books on every American company trading on the stock market. These are the same numbers fed to the so-called experts you see all over TV and the mainstream media. But when you apply my forensic accounting principles, correcting these 130 flaws, the numbers and the outlook for the stock can change drastically. In short, this is what enables us to see where the huge hidden piles of money are moving next before it's recognized by the investment public. Then I use my army of 100 analysts to drill down further. We even put the CEO's conference calls through a proprietary lie detector system to see when they are likely being misleading. Our firm is called Altimetry, and there's simply nothing else like it accessible to regular folks. The monthly research I want to send you is called Hidden Alpha. It's a monthly stock research service for people who want to manage at least some of their own money. You simply can't find this type of forensic research anywhere else unless you work for a hedge fund manager or big money manager. Our work on small stocks, for example, has more than doubled the performance of the S&P stock market averages over the past year and a half since we made this work available to the public. Across all the research I've been publishing over the past few years, we've closed out partial positions for gains including 859%, 148%, and 130%. And we've got open gains today as high as 272%, 211%, 204%, and 151%, just to name a few. In just over two years, we've already had 16 100% plus winners. Of course, these are some of my best recommendations and no guarantee for how other stocks will perform. Our average gain since publishing Hidden Alpha is 36%, which is much better than investing in an S&P 500 stock index over the same period. The point is, our approach works extremely well. And while we charge our corporate clients as much as 1.2 million a year to access our data, we decided about two years ago to also begin publishing Hidden Alpha, a special version of our research for regular folks too. And today, when you start a no-risk trial subscription to Hidden Alpha, I'll send you all the research I've described so far and at a tiny fraction of the price the big money managers pay. Among the first things you receive are Special Report number 1 My favorite SynBio investment right now. This business completely dominates DNA sequencing in America. I'll show you how I recommend you make this purchase and also our full list of the companies you want to avoid in this space because there's going to be a lot of hype about some of these firms in the months to come. I want you to stay clear. Special report number two, profiting from the next big SynBio wave. There are 520 mRNA clinical drug trials going on right now. There's going to be a slew of big gains from these drugs, and I want to show you the two companies we believe are set to see the biggest returns. Special report number three, buy the platforms. Your best shot at a 1,000% winner. There are two great firms to buy here, and I believe one of these companies will ultimately end up being your best chance and making 100 times your money in the long run. 
Plus, each month in Hidden Alpha, you'll get access to our best ideas and access to the top recommendations, but at a tiny fraction of the price the big institutions pay. So how much does Hidden Alpha cost? Well, I believe it's the best bargain in the entire investment world, especially when you consider that normally accessing my work costs big institutions as much as $100,000 per month. Before I give you the specifics, however, I want to tell you about one more critical step I recommend you take right now. So far, I've told you about roughly a half dozen investments I strongly recommend you buy in the SynBio space right now. This is the future. It's where the next big wave of wealth will come from. But obviously, this is not the only place you want to have your money in the markets right now. That's why I'll also send you my special report called The Perfect Portfolio. In this detailed analysis, my team and I show you all our favorite investments right now and how to put it all together into a perfectly allocated portfolio. There's a great electric vehicle stock we want you to buy today, for example, a fantastic gambling firm you should own, a great e-commerce business, a ridiculously lucrative software firm, a great precious metal mining investment, and much more. Look, right now is a difficult time for most people to invest. I want to make sure you're positioned properly to take advantage of the biggest potential winners and to avoid the companies collapsing all around us. Again, everything you need to know is in our latest research report, The Perfect Portfolio. And this will be among the first batch of research you receive as soon as you start a no-risk trial subscription to our Hidden Alpha research. To sum it all up, when you start a subscription today, you'll receive Special Report Number 1, my favorite Symbio investment right now. Special Report Number 2, profiting from the next big Symbio wave. And Special Report Number 3, buy the platforms, your best shot at a 1,000% winner. Special Report Number 4, the perfect portfolio. Plus, the next full year, 12 issues, one delivered each month of Hidden Alpha. Here's how it works. First, as soon as you start a no-risk trial subscription to Hidden Alpha, I'll send you all the research above immediately. Then on the first Monday of each month, you receive my newest Hidden Alpha issue. Each month, I'll show you our favorite new investment recommendation to buy and update you on everything we've already recommended. In other words, You'll always know exactly what to buy and what to sell. You'll have time to digest our research at the beginning of each month, and you'll know exactly how to execute our plan if you decide to follow our recommendations. Normally, our work costs a minimum of $200 per year for individuals. But today, you can get started with trial subscription for less than half off, just $49 for the next full year. Keep in mind, clients have paid as much as $100,000 per month to access our research, and for good reason. Our buy now top 10 picks have outperformed the S&P 500 index by almost 100%. Of course, you've also got to understand that all investments carry risk and our past performance is no guarantee for future success. No matter what you invest in, never invest more than you can afford to lose. I've been so successful over the years because my forensic approach allows me to be obsessive about minimizing risks by digging deep into the real numbers. That's why when people with lots of money on the line need critical information, they pay me a small fortune for my team's insights. A very quick example. One money manager paid me $100,000 not too long ago for a single report on a single day when a company he owned was being investigated by the SEC. He needed to know whether to dump his position or add to it, and I estimate the guy probably made $20 million as a result of us helping him make the right choice. This is why folks almost always have very nice things to say about our work. Matt Rakowski, head of a credit desk at Goldman Sachs, says, Some of the stock ideas Joel has recommended are really incredible with huge upside and long before the rest of the street sees it. Professor John Sviokla of Harvard Business School said of our unique system, uh, Unless you're running billions of dollars and can hire the best talent, you won't see anything like this. In short, we can now do essentially the same work for you that we do for billion dollar hedge funds and money managers, but at a fraction of the price. In Hidden Alpha, I'm not going to overwhelm you with reams of data, just concise write-ups and specific steps to take advantage of our best ideas. Perhaps the best part is you can start with a totally risk-free trial subscription right now for just $49 for the next year. You see, all I'm suggesting to you is that you try our research for yourself to see if it's right for you. If not, no problem. Simply cancel your subscription online or over the phone in the next 30 days, and you'll get a full refund for your subscription fee. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Right now, 
There's a short window to become an early investor in the world's best SynBio businesses. But this window won't last long. I firmly believe that in five years or so, we'll look back and realize this is the most important technological revolution of our time. This is where the smart money is headed right now, and you have a chance to get there early too. It reminds me a little bit of when I was interviewed in Barron's years ago. We were talking about microchip stocks, which power all of our digital devices. There's a lot of doubt in this sector. Personal computer sales had fallen an average of 5% a year for three years. But I knew where the big piles of money were headed, and I knew from my forensic accounting analysis that a company called AMD had numbers that are going to turn out much better than they appeared in official statements. I told Barron's AMD should soar, and since then, it's up about 6,500%. Remember, the pace of innovation in SynBio is now moving faster than ever. Back in 2002, there were just three total SynBio patents granted. Fast forward to 2020, and the number jumped to 617 new SynBio patents. That's a growth rate of about 34% a year. At the same time, an industry tracking database group says that the smart money synthetic bio companies raised in 2021 is close to what this sector raised in the previous 12 years combined. My point is, the frenzy in this space has already begun in private sector. Soon it will hit the public stock markets too, and I want you to be there first. Trust me, you're going to start seeing this idea everywhere. Wired Magazine recently published an article stating, synthetic bio is the most important technology of this century. The New York Times recently ran a long piece about synthetic bio, concluding money is pouring into the field. Other big articles have appeared in recent months in publications like The Economist, Forbes, Fast Company, The Wall Street Journal, the list goes on and on. And if you want to capture the biggest gains in today's markets, you can't wait until all these SynBio breakthroughs appear on the covers of every newspaper and magazine. By then, you'll have missed the biggest moves. And look, you don't have to invest much in these businesses to potentially reap tremendous gains. Many of these investments are extraordinarily cheap today, but they won't stay that way for long. The best part is my team and I have put together all the research you need to get started in a low-priced and a low-risk approach. And again, if you decide after taking a look that a research is not for you, no problem. Simply cancel your subscription online or over the phone in the next 30 days, and you'll get a full refund for your subscription fee. To get instant access to everything I've described here, and to review this offer once more before submitting your order, click the Order Now button below, which takes you to our online order form. Thank you for your time. I hope you are as excited about this development as I am. And I hope you take the steps to benefit from this incredible trend that's about to change our world and capture investors' attention. And again, to access everything I've described here in a matter of minutes, just click the Order Now button below, which will bring you to a secure order form.